All right, YouTube. Well, we're going to do this one more time. We're back out here at Chattahoochee Bend um, in Franklin, Georgia. We are currently in a 10 man tent. This is the inside, as you know, I can stand up inside it and everything. And I got one room over here, and there's my daughter. We still ain't got everything set up yet, got our beds and all. And then got another room right over here, and this is my son's room, but he's not here yet. And then me and my wife's in the middle. And I'll take you outside, let you see the outside. It is supposed to rain. It's supposed to rain for the next eight days. We are down here for seven of those eight days. Well, seven nights. Leaving on the eighth day. And this is our setup right here. All right, y'all, we're gonna do a catch and cook. This time, it's gonna be in the rain, and I hope and pray we catch something. But if y'all like these videos, subscribe. Um, trying to get more of them out there. So, sorry if the video glitches a little bit. I don't have good service out here. Y'all have a good one. All right, what's up, y'all? Check this out. There's my son. It's raining out here. We out here on the Chattahoochee Bend. We doing some fishing. Again. Um, we called us one. He got used cut bait though. It ain't big. <laughs> he wasn't big. But uh, y'all check this out. It's raining out here. It's foggy. It's everything. You see my pole sitting over here. That currents are moving. And every time I get on here, it seems like somebody wants to send me some text messages. But uh, if y'all like these videos, subscribe to them and everything. We're enjoying ourselves for the next seven days. Week. We're out here. So, or eight days, I'm sorry. Eight days, seven nights. But we're going to be out here doing some fishing. And... Hopefully, we can do a catch and cook tonight. That's what we're out here doing right now, sitting in the rain, trying to catch us some fish so we can get a fire going, get things going for everybody to eat something tonight. We know they're biting. We just don't know. Don't I mean, we don't know what they're eating, though. So we got worm on one. And we got mine. some... Uh, fish on the other. Yeah, and this is the bank that we came down here. But we're over here by ourselves. Nobody can see us. We're enjoying it. But y'all check this out. This is like... This is where I want to live when I retire. There's a house directly across right over there. That's where I want to live at, right here on this river. You never know what you're going to catch out of a river, especially catch this river. Let's see, there's alligator out here. There's some big old gars out here. Big old catfish. I wish he could catch a gar. I'm going to catch something tonight, I hope. If not, I got seven days better, to do it. So it better not be like our last video. This video is probably going to be a long video. I'm hoping this is going to be my longest video because I got seven days. I'm going to be recording for seven days. Great. Yeah. But it's not a wilderness challenge. I like to do that. Go and do that one day. But right now, I'm going to enjoy sitting here with my son doing some fishing. We'll take him. See y'all soon. All right, y'all. Well, change spots. Kind of down here at the boat docks. Battery's low on my phone. So, that's the boat docks. I believe my wife just showed back up. Yep, that's her. Yep, there they go. 
But anyways, this is what we're doing. So far, we ain't caught nothing, so. So I hope it ain't like our last but, video, not catching. Well, I, I take that back. We caught one fish. We caught no a big little, fish. Little smallmouth bass, but it wasn't nothing to eat. I mean, he might have been a hot dog. But anyways, hope y'all enjoy these videos. Like I said, we got seven days out here, so this is gonna be my longest video, and I'm hoping to make more long videos. But I need subscribers. <clears throat> I need people to put my name out there. And like Joe Romnick. Yeah. Ace. I'm, I'm just telling y'all too. Y'all want some good videos too? Go to Ace Videos, Joe Robnett, the Wooded Beersman. Check them out. I mean, they're like, they're great. They're so bad. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it too. See them people up there? I don't think we know them, but they're waving at us. But, anyways, <laughs> y'all have a good one. Be back with y'all soon. All right, y'all, here we are again. And my son. We're doing this hike. Check this out. This is part of the Chattahoochee River Bend. And there's, I mean, it's these are little spillways. We'll, uh, see if we can do a catch and cook here. Uh, shortly, we're headed to his place. There's the swamps right there. And here's the trails. And they got a game going on. It's been going on for years now. We came across a box. It's an old ammo box. I can't tell you where it's at. It's for you to find. It's on these trails. So we're sitting off the trail underneath the tree. I'll give it that. But uh, an old ammo box. If you come up here and you come across it, put your name in it. Put and something in it. We put yeah, a fishing lure. Put something in it. Ask to leave a little trinket or something like that. We left a fishing lure. Um, we're trying to do the longest video that we've done a seven day video this is going to be you know parted out but i'm hoping at least get an hour or two of a video on here for y'all and as we go through we'll show y'all the river we'll show you places where we're going to be fishing at and i'll take a tour around the campsites and show y'all what the campsites are um they have had alligators uh seen out here they're a baby crocodiles Matter of fact, uh, we seen one yeah, right over here, the last time we was here, this is the swamp. There was a baby crocodile in the water. And, you know, we're just, we're letting people know that if you're out here to Be take careful. cautious, because we don't never know if they're up on the banks and stuff. And we hope that y'all enjoy these videos. We do this to please everybody to, during the pandemic to give them something to watch. So, y'all have a good one. All right, here we are, y'all. We are, there's the Chattahoochee River. We are walking the trail. I'll give y'all a little bit of the trail experience. We're on our way up here to the, um. Treehouse. Treehouse. It's, uh, Big. it's like an overlook of the river. Okay. And it's nice, but I don't like heights. So, I don't go up it. <laughs> well, you've tried to run up it once, but you Yeah. Didn't. It's like... I think it's a, it's a four-hour yep. walk. If you was to do this whole trailhead, it's a four-hour hike through this thing. Somewhere after what four hours? It's nice. I'm actually going to try it tomorrow if it ain't raining. I'm going to try to get down here and hit this trailhead up and try to get me a little experience because my wife and kids can't keep up with me so I might do it myself <laughs> but anyways yeah this is a little bit of it got the crows out here got a little bit of everything that's, that's where I want my house at I want it right up there because I want to be right there Every day fishing <laughs> and hunting, do whatever. But this is a little bit of a an adventure video. We are going to do a catch and cook <laughs> because the last time I was down here and made a video, I wound up doing a catch and cook, and it was nothing. Yeah, but I, I had to go down to Griffin 
where I live at and everything and do the catch and cook down there because I didn't catch nothing up here. I got some bites, but didn't catch nothing. And thought I was gonna be able to catch and cook earlier, but unfortunately, the fish got away. So, yeah. And the tree house is right up there. We're about to be coming up on it. Yeah, we're gonna go up here and do a little fishing up here and see if we can catch anything. And hopefully, we'll be able to do this catch and cook today. If not, still got six more days. So, I'm probably gonna do some grub hunting here in a little while, while we're fishing. And maybe I can do a catching, uh, cook on a on some grubs. We'll try that. Here they're pretty good. They hadn't tried them yet, but I'm gonna try them. I might like it. I'll be a survivor, man. And, uh, and there's the tree house, y'all. And it don't look like it's that big, but I don't like heights. <laughs> it's huge. I'm gonna attempt to go up it. I am gonna attempt to go up it. Have to go Let's see. And Let's see how far I can go. We have to go all the way to the top. I'm gonna see if I can go to the top. Last time I was here, I made it up to the second set of steps, and I came right back down. But they say that you have to overcome your fears, and it, from here, it don't look high. It's just the point of me going up. It's an elevation change. And oh yeah, here's the clear opening. Yes. We're gonna do some fishing here. Let's go. I'll try to do this. All right, son. Here, right. and I'm starting to get dizzy. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, look, y'all. Oh God. <laughs> now you gotta yeah. Look down. Okay. <laughs> I made it to the top. This is what it looks like up here. And I'm going back down. <laughs> I don't like heights. <laughs> All right. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. Well, that's the first time you went to the very top. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to get out here and try to catch us a fish. I got my cooker. I got my oil. got my pan. I got it all. And there's two friends up there. Oh. But the yeah, last time I was here, that. yeah, this is where we caught that fish at, we and it got it. away just that quick. But uh, it's because we wasn't using our test line like we should have. But y'all, uh, stay tuned for more. Enjoy this video because this is a beautiful scenery. And I'm here. there's my son. <laughs> All right, y'all. Be back soon. Y'all see this right here? <laughs> this is what I'm teaching my kids to do. That was only five minutes of this. Was that was like five minutes. And look, this is where we at. I just had one on that took and snapped my hook. It could be this one. But could possibly be. You might have my hook inside of them. But uh, my son caught them. So we're uh, going to have some fun now. <laughs> this is going to be some dinner tonight, y'all. So we're going to do our catch and cook. All right, y'all have a good one. All right, y'all. It's gonna be another adventurous day. They're headed back down the trail, right beside the Chattahoochee. We are up here doing what we have to do, what we do best, and that's catching cooking. But this is day number two still we've got a catfish in the bag we're going down to another little spot that i found the last time we was down here we're gonna do a little fishing out there see if we can uh hopefully catch a few fish out there maybe some brim maybe another cat maybe, maybe some bass yeah my son ain't been down here yet so yeah. <laughs> We're headed down here now and do a little more fishing. Then we're gonna head back to camp and get the fish clean. And hopefully 
get this fish fry going. At least this time, I can honestly say that we got us a fish yeah. that we can cook for the catch and cook. Finally! And I think I'm gonna cook up some fish tonight with What's some right? eggs and maybe a little bit of rice. Let's see what we got. All right, y'all, stay tuned for more. All right, you two. Well, this is going to conclude our day. We did get lost today. And we did have to call the office up here to figure out how to get out of these woods. And we got turned around somehow. But they did tell us how to get up out of here. My son and me both today, by the time we are out of here, have done 11 miles today walking. We got lost several times off in the woods walking these trails and it's been one of them kind of hectic days because we started off fishing we we still got our catfish but we've been we're going to be up here just a minute we're coming out at the trailhead getting picked up by my wife and my daughter and we're headed back to the camp my son, his his legs are tired. We've only taken maybe one to two breaks, and we are we're exhausted now. But it actually turned out to be a nice day, even though that we did get lost. But that's my fault. I didn't bring a map with me. I should have grabbed one of the maps from the office, and so I know exactly where I'm going to. But um this is day two and like i said we got four or five more days so let's do this and hopefully i can do another catch and cook before the end of this week but we're here at the end where we're going to meet my wife and daughter so we will be seeing y'all soon All right, y'all, well, this is day three. three of our fishing trip. We still hadn't done the catch and cook yet. We did catch something, but I failed to get it on camera. Well, I tried to get it on camera, but phone died. Yeah, the phone died on me, so we're out here doing another catch, and it's me and my son. We are out here by the boat docks on the Chattahoochee. This is the... This is our... Our adventure. new spot. Yes, our adventure. So, 
If y'all enjoyed these videos, like and subscribe, and we'll get more back out to y'all soon. Alright y'all, still on day three. We're back on the trailhead again. Even after we got lost this last time. There is a part of my video that y'all gonna be watching that uh y'all ain't gonna hear nothing because for some reason it was not the voice was not working in it. So we're gonna put music. So we're just gonna put some music on that and let y'all see the walk that we did a little bit. Um and uh, we're back over here at the swamp. And all this but we're headed back to the tower to do uh another fishing yeah another little catch and cool. hopefully we'll catch something but uh if y'all like these videos y'all just uh like and subscribe five miles ahead and uh tell you what i turn 40 in a few days 40 whole years that I've lived. And I love fishing. Yippee. <laughs> and camping. But, uh, alright, y'all. Stay tuned for more. Check this out, y'all. Two catfish. Second yeah. one. But we're going to do a catch and cook. still kind of pokey dotted, though. We're going to do a catch and cook with him. Since we didn't get to do a catch and cook with the last one, we're hoping to catch a few more up out of here. And if we do. We're gonna have a good fish fry tonight. But uh y'all enjoy these videos, like and subscribe. I'm hoping that the seven day be a good one. And this is my pole in the water right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually moving right now. This current's pulling like crazy, but that catfish right there, he put up a little bit of a fight. He's just a tiny one. But probably on camera it don't probably don't look tiny. Yeah, he's not real tiny. He's good. He's like a good size. yesterday. But y'all, enjoy these videos. Alright y'all, well, we did accomplish our goal today, which we was two fish. Yep, to catch some fish. So we're going to be going back to camp here in a few minutes and doing a catch and cook video. So, there's my son playing in the dirt. He had a big fish on it, broke his line, so we're going to have to go back and fix his line. But I still got mine out here, and my pole is completely bent from the current. I got something steadily just hitting it. it. Just It wants it, but it ain't took it yet. I'm trying to catch one more fish to make three. We got a couple decent-sized catfish that we're going to cook up at camp, the camp tonight. And, uh... We might do some night fishing. Maybe, yeah, we might do some night fishing later. We'll see. But hopefully this uh, video is a longer video than what I've been doing. But I did lose a lot of video from the other day. So I don't have good reception out here. But y'all enjoy. And see y'all soon. Whoop, I'm getting a bite now. There we go. Well y'all, we're back again. We have our fish down here in the fire. Got some hamburgers going. This is our setup right here. And this over here is my Coleman grill. And I am about to boil up some mac and cheese. I got the luxuries of home. There's my coffee pot, creamer and all that. Gotta go with my coffee now. Can't leave my coffee here but look at this this is the campsite this is like awesome we have been getting a lot of rain here so we're trying to enjoy it without it raining there's my light all these camping spots are around but we're in the woods it's nice got more people coming down and that is the showers and the restrooms up there but as far as everything else this is nice and when I say I got luxuries at home I mean I'll show you this I just come on in all right 
I got my cooler, pots, pots and pans. Fishing pole. Got everything here we need as far as this is cold enough so we leave our milk out. And then our toiletry items, stuff like that, dirty clothes. And then you step inside and it leads to the TV, the our little kitchen. grocery pile, the kids' Room. rooms. And yeah, we did change it around from the last time. Of course, that's where my wife sleeps. She sleeps over by herself, and I sleep right here on the ground. He likes it. I like it better on the ground because it's better on my back. Got the heater on. Kids have got their computers so they can do their homework and stuff. And this is a 10-man tent. If And I, I actually am satisfied with this tent. It's actually turned out to be one of the better tents. There's our power source with two cords coming out. And like I said, it's, I mean, it's nice. Got my extra two tanks there so I can cook and everything. Not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. And then our fishing equipment and stuff. $98. Yeah, but like I said, if y'all uh, y'all decided to do something like this, this is Chattahoochee Bend State Park, and we will be here for seven days. Well, four more days now. Yeah. And then after these the four days, we're headed, we're headed to Carrollton, Georgia, where we found another camp that we're going to check out. Um, and I will post videos there for that uh, trip. It's part of the Chattahoochee River too, but it's set up a little bit different where actually you can fish and you know you'll catch something. Nice. Here, I mean, I'm, I'm catching fish here, but it's just, it's more of a challenge here because on bank with the current, it's how it's running, it's kind of pushing all my hooks and weights back toward the bank, so. Except you have one big one. Yeah, I got the one big weights that you know that's basically how you have to use the heavy weights here you can't use just little small weights i have not caught no brim at all here it's been bass or cats so we have not caught a cat a bass caught one little small bass that was it one tiny small yeah. bass and that's all but we are getting ready for a good Ooh. night and we're going to eat some dinner and we'll be back with y'all in a little while. All right, YouTube, it's day five. It's morning time. I'm out here, done been snowing out here on us. But uh, cooking up some bacon and eggs. Get my fire started up. Kind of cold out here today. Cold enough for everything to Hold up for it snow, so right now it's uh, I think it's 21 degrees out here, but we're only ones left out here today, and of course, we've had a lot of rain here, so this came in handy. We are two days away from leaving. y'all enjoyed these videos and I'll be back with y'all soon well y'all I'm on this trail here I'm actually heading down to the uh, second tower I haven't been there yet I'm by myself today uh, I got lost the other day and wound up doing 11 miles this tower is supposed to be, I think, anywhere between five, six miles. I'm getting a late start. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. But I'm going to do this. And it is a, it's a little bit of a hike. But I'm going to enjoy it. I'm enjoy this hike. And I'm going to keep posting these videos for y'all to... To enjoy but there's the campground right there for the campers so 
I probably got about another three and a half miles to go before I get to tower number two. And this is Franklin, Georgia. It is a uh, river, Chattahoochee River, uh, campground. So if y'all wanna come out here and visit, it's a nice place. It's got full hookups for campers and full hookups for tents. Unless you wanna go all out without uh, power and all, they got walk-ins out on the riverside y'all enjoy these videos and we shall see the second tower here soon oh man here we go I don't know where that trail goes to and probably another way to get into the campers over go the way I've seen oh, whichever way it takes me anyways I brought me a few things so I can sit down and eat something and enjoy nature the peace of nature a little stream right here you gotta cross Looks like there used to be a bridge here. And you see that? It's nice. I don't know what they're. You know what? I'm gonna cross to the woods right here because there's actually a little trail over here. It may be leading me to the second part of the river. So I didn't see this the other day. up this is Riverside Trail and what's this way Tower Trail Trailhead 2 Visitor Center so this must be day use area okay that's Riverside here's the posting y'all it tells you where your campgrounds 1 2 day use area Tower Trail Trailhead 2 Visitor Center this is Riverside. Let's see what this side says. Riverside Trail also. So since that's the case, I'm gonna follow this one out. This is Trailhead 2. We're gonna see where it leads to. Maybe it'll take us somewhere. Hopefully this is recording my voice because if not, it'll be music. All right, talk to y'all shortly. Alright y'all stepped off the trail for just a minute. I wanted to show you this. I've been wanting to fish it, but uh I got down here and noticed it's like really shallow. I mean it's I'm on the trail that I haven't been on yet. The bridge is like right over there. The first trail on the video I showed y'all goes out that way. And the other day I was right here on that bank and I was fishing here but I didn't realize it was that shallow because I couldn't see from that side but I see it's real shallow because I mean there's a stick right here in the water just sitting right on top of everything but I just wanted y'all get a glimpse of this all right oh y'all Still ain't found that uh, second tower yet. And I've been walking almost an hour now. So I made it to the end. And as you see the road out there, I came down the road and took this trail to my left, which is actually uh, going toward the campground, my, my campground where I'm at. But I've already been walking an hour, so I'm thinking maybe 
couple hours at the most and i'll be back there maybe i'll come across tower number two i'm hoping so anyways but check this out i like this see them rocks right there i wish i could let's see there we go let's zoom in right there if i had to survive that would be my house for the night big old holes right there inside them rocks you can crawl up underneath them and uh have one side to sleep on the other side to make a fire on so far it's been a good hike i got about five more days and i'm turning 40 and god so much in my life i want to complete that i'm trying to complete my one major thing in life I wanted to do was do these hikes like this. This is the road I passed earlier. I actually crossed over this road. I just didn't go up or down. I just kept going up the trailhead. But uh, this is like an accomplishment to me because I walked a total of maybe 30 miles in the last uh, six days. Today's day six. I said earlier it was day five, but I didn't record on day five because all we done is have it rain all day on day five. And it rained and rained and rained. But I got cut short on that last video. Oh, anyways, I'm taking y'all on this little walk with me for a minute. Let you see nature. So peaceful out here. My kids wanted to come with me on this hike today, but I told them no because it's actually 20 degrees out here right now. The temperature dropped. It's three something in the afternoon. I'm, no, I can take that back. It's like four something in the afternoon. So, I started late. I can't remember what time I started. I think I started about 2 o'clock. Maybe 2. Maybe one thirty, Something like that. I've been walking a while though. I'm enjoying it. Just peace and quiet. It's just something you don't get to enjoy very often especially when you got kids <laughs> but they enjoy it too taking them camping fishing i know that uh i've said this before in many of my videos i don't have a lot of subscribers i don't have a lot of content as far as when i go out and do these videos and stuff but my thing is this is not really for everybody. I make these videos because the fact that I do have small children and I want them to have something to look back on, knowing that their daddy done this stuff with them. I'm teaching them something. In case you're ever in a situation where you have to survive, um, this is, I mean, this is a perfect place right here. If they want to do survival in this out here, I mean, I'd definitely come out here and go for the challenge. Um, I do recommend a lot of people as far as, you know, Joe Robnett, he's good. He's a bushcrafter. I mean, he shows you all kinds of stuff. He was on that show alone, and I know he, could, I know he would have stayed, and he would have won because I believe that in that video... He lost his uh, fire starter, and it's hard to survive when you ain't got fire. There's people that they do it. I believe he could have done it. You know, he he put his mind to it, but also you have to have fresh water. I mean, the only way you drink that river water is boiling it. But you know, I recommend him because I watched every one of his videos he posted, and uh, I also recommend the. Wooded Beardsman, and they're all, 
you know, they're all bushcraft. I mean, the wood of Earsman shows different techniques of survival and you can learn stuff. I mean, this is, I grew up, always loved the woods. I love camping, I'm not scared of animals. Like, you know, I'm more scared of people than I am animals. I could deal with an animal better than I could a person. But on top of that, oh, uh, I got Ace videos. Now he's good. I love his videos. And you know, every one of them's got merch. You want to take and subscribe to them, check it out. Their videos are great. I mean, I believe that. See, here we go again, y'all. Tower Trail, Riverside Trail, 5K Loop, Wild Turkey Trail, Campground 1 and 2, Day Use Area. I see this is right here. I don't understand what the day use area means. This is the 5K Loop. And then the cabins, Trailhead 2, Visitor Center, Wild Turkey Trail. But see, I want to see this other cabin. I just don't know how far I'm from where I need to go to because this is like like this right here, Wild Turkey Trail. That comes outside our campground. But see, here's what gets people confused. There's a sign here. This is what got me last time. I see the sign that says trail. Okay. I follow the trail this way, but then there's a trail right here. It looks like a, a deer trail. But there's also a river over here or something. Yeah, this is where I was. See up there at the top of there. That's where I was earlier. I don't know if y'all can see that too well. But all this right here is swamp area. Here's the crossing to the river. I bet there's some good old size bass up in there or small bass or something small fish or something let's check this out look at that now that kind of deep over there don't know if i'd catch anything because it seems like it's too shallow yeah i shouldn't wander off trail i've been told already <laughs> coming out one or too far off the trail i want to fish this i believe i'm going to I'm gonna have a try at it, y'all. Just right here, anyways. And then I'm gonna get back on trail and start hiking back up because I don't get off and get lost. That little waterfall. If I catch something, I'll have y'all back on here in a minute. All right, y'all. Well, I'm leaving, y'all. It's uh, kind of nothing there so we'll get back up on the trail here i'll start heading back to my camp it seems that it's already getting later than what i thought it was it's closer to five o'clock so that means i've been walking for two and a half hours and i got about another hour and a half before i make it back to camp <sighs> i like these walks i really do Man, if I could live out here in these woods, I would. <laughs> That's what I like about North Carolina and all that up in the mountains. I was told the other day, though, that uh, there ain't no bears been spotted around here in like nine years, I believe they said it was. Eight or nine years. So that tells me there's probably little black bears around here. But... Oh well, it is what it is. If y'all uh, like these videos, subscribe. I hate when people like call me whenever. I'm gonna have to get the equipment and just set up. 
so much hassle just to hold a freaking thing with a camera in front of you. I'm going to get one strapped to my chest. It'll be a whole lot better. I see the road up there. So that tells me that I'm not too far from camp. These are the cabins right here. You can see the cabins. These cabins rent $150 a night, but there's a two night minimum, meaning that you have to rent for at least two nights. So, if you was to come up here and want to rent a cabin, they're just like houses. Everything's in it, dishes and all. All you gotta do is bring your covers, toiletry, and your food, and you're set to go. Oh man, it's kinda wet out here. All this rain this past week. Today's been the nicest day, but it's cold. But anyways, I'm gonna see if I can Maybe hit a little river bed for y'all and trail's taking me right back where I started or where I came out at actually. When I came up, matter of fact, yeah. I came up I came up behind this one and as you can see it's taking me right back to the road exactly where I came out at too I don't make no sense at all does it I came out of here Leave them all. Yeah, that's what it did. Brought me right back up here. Well, actually, I'll take that back. It brought me to the other side. I'm gonna come out at, at the roadside. Check this out. This tree was just blown over. That's pretty cool, though. Would be even cooler if there were some kind of artifacts up in this tree uh, like you see up in there be nice find some kind of history up in these holes and again check this out too that's how cold it got last night those are icicles and they're still <laughs> dripping this is nice though it's very nice I love it out here I've been to a lot of parks I mean I've been down to High Falls I've been Indian Springs I've been to Coa all the state parks that I've made videos on this park right here would be the park that I would suggest for anybody to go to even though that i like all the other state parks this one right here has more activity more you know stuff for people to do like the hikes they got playgrounds down here for kids and all that and so you come back over here this is trailhead Two, Black Ridge Trail, Trailhead Two. It says caution, two-way traffic coming in and out. People bicycle down through here. I see. Now, I came out there, and earlier, I came out up here, and I walked down this way to the bridge right here, and uh. Y'all get me hear this because you know, it's gonna be a lot of music in this one. <laughs> Came out right here to the 
of the creek. A little small creek. All the way down to there. Cross over and check it out. I mean, there's like, there's got to be at least three or four hundred acres out here. walk this way this way takes you back to camp so that's why I'm heading it back now to camp it's kind of getting to the lake side I'd love to go up these trails right here but we're talking about more rain coming in tomorrow and the next day and I don't want to be out here on these trails like that and in the rain I got a poncho but it's still rain just, I don't know, it makes you feel sluggish. Huh. Oh, that's the sign. It's peeling. But, I looked this one up, Franklin, Georgia. It's the Cherokee State Park. lost it was um, helpful for them because I called and they told me how to get up out of there so I didn't want to have to do another three hour trap back this is where I came out at but instead of going back through the woods I'm gonna walk the road Just camps right around the corner up here so Y'all uh, enjoy these videos. All right, y'all. Well, headed back. About to pass campground one here. It's a nice little spot down here. Still walking down the road. But this is nice little place they got showers right over there there's your showers I'll leave it zoomed in for a minute for y'all check everything out sorry if it's a little bit bumpy but it's real nice Campground one is right here through these woods. Campground two is way around that corner up there. But I could actually walk on the campground one and hit their trail and be at campground two in just a few minutes. But I'm walking this. I'll walk until I can't walk no more. Or at least I'm going to try to, anyways. People are walking their dogs right now, walking their animals. This is campground one right here. And then here's the animals walking. We're gonna walk down through here to campground two. I'm gonna do a little bit more walking now and I'll be back on here. Alright, y'all. I'm back. Um, come from Campground 2 here. If you keep going straight past Campground 2, it takes you down to the boat docks, uh, to the Chattahoochee River. It's uh, got a little playground down there cooking area several picnic tables with uh, with grills 
This is pretty much what you get right here. It's, it's not in the mountains, but kind of feels like it though. It's something. Man, almost out of breath. It's so cold out here. You got your hose to my left, but I'm not gonna put their place on camera. Not without their permission. And then we're like we let's see. There we are. Right through the woods. Right there. Right, that's where we're gonna be at tonight. And I said, you got plenty of room out here. You got where you can park your car right here beside your oops, camp. There we go. Like this. Put your two cars right there. There's your hookup. Put your tent and all right there. Camp out for the night. Uh, same here. We got the walk in where we park right here at the road. And then we walk our stuff into the woods. I like the woods better. I don't want to be right here where everybody can see me and all that. I want to be where nobody can see me. <laughs> and then we got the other facility right here. They do have showers in them, laundromats in them, and handicap uh, spots where, for people who need more help with getting in and out of showers and stuff and these are the roadside but i mean this is real nice it's, like i said we're just going to enjoy our time here got one more night tomorrow night and then we're leaving out thursday and then uh, headed back I guess headed back to the house right. if y'all enjoy these videos y'all like and subscribe to them and here's the wooded areas of course you know family's got to have a TV so they're in there watching TV right now playing on the computers stuff like that but y'all enjoy. Alright, you two. Uh, everybody's getting to sleep. There's my TV. The kids are over there watching their computers. We're about to get some sleep. Got a long day tomorrow. Uh, y'all want more videos? like and subscribe and hopefully I have more scenery here soon for you and different catch and cook videos well good night y'all and see you next time <laughs>